Solana Beach is fighting back against one of Sandag's current proposed routes for its rail realignment project. People at tonight's city council meeting say they were shocked to be one of three proposals. People who live in Solana Beach don't want anything to do with Sandag's rail realignment project. Our letter unequivocally calls for the immediate dismissal of Alternative A. With all due respect would be a slap in the face to Solana Beach. I highly oppose Alternative A. Wednesday, the city council and the public listened to a presentation from Sandag, who earlier this month announced three proposed routes to move the tracks off the eroding bluffs. Option A in pink could cost an estimated $4.1 billion, the most expensive option. It would start in Solana Beach and tunnel underground along the five. We're talking about screwing over a three and a half square mile city with 13,000 people living here. The city council and mayor backing their community who say they were blindsided by the option that included their city, worried about its economic and environmental impacts. A $4 billion project that disrupts natural habitats and neighborhoods does not seem like the logical solution. Option B would run underground starting in Del Mar at $2.2 billion. Option C also starts in Del Mar running underground closer to the coast with a price tag of $1.8 billion. One Del Mar man asked Solana Beach residents to consider the impact of those routes as well. Many of the fears that you're expressing are the same fears and concerns that uh, your neighbors to the south have. Sandag explained these alternatives are just the beginning of the conversation, saying no decision has been made and they're still taking public input. There's a process and this process begins with the notice of preparation and with us gathering all the comments. The deadline for the public to submit comments on the project is July 19th. In Solana Beach, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.